part of my problem is that I've been a perfectionist throughout pretty much all of these years, and I am now trying to cut that head off. <sighs> One of the most interesting things that I've realized along my journey is the fact that looking at life now, whenever I see other people leading successful and positive lives, I'm super excited and happy for them. But what's interesting is that like reflecting on the past now, I see that I never really used to be like that. In fact, I used to look at people's successes and wish them failures. I also used to look at people's failures and be happy that they were failing. But the reason why it's so interesting is because that's what I was manifesting into my own life too. And it's important to recognize this stuff because for starters, it's not healthy to be in a place of hoping for other people to fail or seeing other people's failures and being happy that they continue to be that way. It's simply a mirror reflection of how we feel about ourselves, and this is why I'm talking about it. Because um, I was reflecting on it literally yesterday, and I was thinking about how I used to be that way and how I'm no longer that way. How it's very toxic to live that way, and how to get out of it. A lot of us, we have this tendency to have a low self-esteem. We don't feel great about ourselves. We don't really feel motivated to get out there and really manifest the dreams that we desire. And interestingly enough, when we feel that way about ourselves, we don't want anybody else living beyond that. So we project that same idea onto them and expect them to live the same exact way. It's very toxic, like I was saying before. But what's so interesting is that Especially last year, 2018, this is today's January 1st, last year, 2018, literally one of the absolute greatest years of my life. But I was reflecting on it and I noticed something very interesting. People would come to me excited as heck talking about how great their life is becoming and, you know, the choices that they're making and how they see things moving forward so positively. And I was, I'm always so happy to hear it. And... Part of the reason is because I've taken responsibility for the fact that if I want to see something in my life, I have to make it happen. If I want to see happiness in my life, I have to manifest that. And that's just a fact. And, you know, we have this tendency to rely on other people for that kind of fulfillment. And that's hazardous. That's dangerous. We shouldn't be going there. Um, but I've manifested so many great things into my life. And I just see other people coming to me and being like, hey man, this is going really fantastic. I'm so happy that I'm manifesting what I want and you know, your words have encouraged me. Thank you for helping me, this and that. And it makes me so happy to hear that, not only because I know what it feels like to be successful day after day and to see other people you know, coming to me and hearing their stories, hearing their words, you know, how their life has changed and everything. It's so great and it makes me realize that I'm vibrating on a different frequency than I used to. Um, spiritually, of course. My energy is in a very different place. The things that are important to me are actually prioritized and making sure that I'm, a I'm able to manifest the life that I want is an absolute priority, 100%. And um, if you're in a place where you look at other people and you see their successes and you wish them failure, or you see their failures and you're happy that they're failing and you hope that they continue to fail, you've got to change your mindset. You may not feel great about yourself and that's something that should change because you'll feel better basically recognizing what it is that you want in life, pursuing that, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, staying motivated, you know, having a purpose and other people out there you know, they'll, they'll recognize that, not only because they see it happening in your life, but they're also vibrating on that same frequency, that same plane of reality. They're going to come to you 
and they're going to be all positive. They're going to be all happy and they're going to recognize that you're doing really great and that you're, you'll be able to recognize that they're doing really great. I basically just wanted to put this together because my life continues to get better and better and better. And I want to encourage you to maintain an open mind to, you know, do what you want to do with your life. That's honestly one of the most important things I can ever emphasize, you know, because we have this tendency to um, be told that we have all the time in the world. And um, it's just not fact. You know, we should focus on what we want. You know, the more time we spend with ourselves, really grounding ourselves with this fact that we can literally create anything that we want to in this life, it's a really beautiful thing. And coming more to terms with that, we can blossom into whatever we want to and create whatever we want to. And that's the beauty behind it. January 1st, 2019, it's the new year. Let's make the best of it possible. Peace.